Hi, my name's Stevie, and I'm here to show you how to print some fabrics with rubber stamps. Uh, we'll make this little guy today, but here are some other examples of things you can make with rubber stamps. And you can also use them for paper or other things. Um, I made these pillowcases for my couch, which is just back there. Uh, so we're going to get started. All right, let's get started. First, select whatever material you're going to print. I made this little pillowcase out of some old... Um, pillowcases that we had to make a little throw pillow so you just set that aside and your main thing will be making your stamps so you can buy these little eraser blocks at any craft store are like thicker ones because you can print you know carve on both sides and have two different prints um, that helps you know keep it economical and so you first I like to paint mine black so I can really see the design so you start out by sketching you see I sketched here a little mushroom I'll do another one over here just simple, you know, keep it simple at start so you get, get the feel for it. So your first thing would be to carve out the, the negative space. You can see on this one I started here, I've carved out, there's only white left. This side needs to be carved and then the detail needs to be done on the mushroom. When you're done, you'll have something like this. You have a little mushroom, um, it's black, that's what's going to print. You know, here's a, an example of the pink eraser. And these are um, ready to print. So you get your material. You're going to print. I put a little piece of cardboard. Make sure it's tight. Make sure you have a nice printing surface. And also to stop it from bleeding through. Uh, you'll need one of these little paint rollers. Uh, I use just acrylic paint. It is cheap and accessible. I always have it on hand. I use it for a ton of projects. You can wash the material. So you just see I'm rolling the paint onto this little guy. I'm going to take it and I'm going to roll it over my rubber stamp. Just like this. Make sure you get it nice and coated with the fabric. Um, if you were doing this on paper you'd want a little less paint but with the fabric you want to do a little bit more just so you get a good impression. So this is the bottom. Here I'm going to and now we're going to print. That's as simple as putting your stamps down, just like this, and giving them a good little rub. They have tools to do this, but I find that my hand works just as well. So here you go. Here's your print. Beautiful. You can make more, you can make less. Then you sew up your pillow, stuff it, and you have a nice, unique decoration for your house. I hope you like this project, and I hope I see you again soon. Thanks. Bye.